Hi there. After my last video where I showed you how to calculate the amount of buoyancy to add to your camera setup, I got a lot of questions about my floats. And the main question was how to attach the float ring to my housing. When I first bought mine, I was really worried about it floating off. And I wasn't crazy about it being held together with the Velcro that it comes with. So I asked my husband, Dion, who I call Dr. Dion, as he can fix anything and is really clever and practical with stuff like this, what I should do. And he suggested threading bungee through the floats and hooking them around uh, the focus light ball mount on my housing like this. This way it's nice and tight around the port and will stay put. And it has done. But if you don't have a ball mount like this on the top of your camera housing, you could make two loops to go around the handles instead. One of the other questions that I had was how to attach the floats to your strobe arms. One thing to remember before you buy your floats is to make sure that you purchase the right floats for your strobe arms. And these are the ones that I have and these are the floats that I bought and they do come with instructions telling you exactly how to use them but as we know not everybody reads instructions so I'm here to show you how to do it. So when you get them they come like this but if you look closely there's actually inserts that you need to take out and keep. So once you've taken the inserts out it's really easy all you need to do is take your float push it onto your strobe arm and this which is really really important it's one of the inserts goes back into the slot and holds the float on your float arm. One of my friends contacted me and asked me how do I stop the floats from spinning around on my arms and I said to him well they don't what's what's wrong and he actually had taken these inserts and thrown them away. So please don't do that. The inserts are an important part of the floats. You need to put the semicircular one back in here to make sure that they do not spin around and that they stay in place. I've had mine for about seven years now and they do shrink a little and get a bit of wear and tear. But all I've done is, faithful old bungee again, taken some of that and threaded it over both balls of my strobe arm and now your floaty won't <laughs> now your floaty floats won't float away to stay up to date with tips and tricks I personally find useful please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions please pop me an email and I'll help you out thanks for watching safe diving and happy bubbles